Hello, YouTube. I am late to stream, but it doesn't matter to you because I'm never late on YouTube. Except for today, because I was late for stream, I didn't upload the Outlast stream, which is f -f 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 phenomenal. Good to see you, to see you good, YouTube. Uh, hopefully today we don't have any bombs dropped on us like Sneaky last time with a 500. We can just relax and enjoy the Whistleblower DLC. My voice ugh, is still a little bit rough. So, last time, as Miles up sure, we became a god and then died. Poor god. Today, as a patient, I guess. Uh oh. Welcome home, Spoglass. You don't have to wake up, but open your eyes. No! What's the matter? Ow. Somebody hit you? Here. No! Let me help you. No! Oh! Oh! Ah! What the f is wrong with him? You getting these alerts? Kind of busy here. It sounds like real trouble. At the engine, they said Hope made a lateral ascension. What do you hope? You're not happy about it? No. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Come on. Oh. Ew. Uh, Ava, uh, thank you for the gift set. Uh, no. Uh, Close your eyes. Ah. Uh, am I a woman? Is that what, like, is that what this is about? Am I in the female ward? Hey, I am the leaker. Terrible things happening there. Don't understand. I believe half things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something. I need to wash my glasses. Or wipe my glasses, sorry. No, I'm a man. Those are man's hands. I don't know why I can identify man's hands, but I can identify man's hands. Oh, he's got my jigglini. Leaker, yes. The, the whistleblower. Which explains the name of the DLC. Sorry, I'm wiping my wiping my glasses. Yeah, I'm not a woman. That man, either he was very gay or deliberately traumatizing me. Or both. <laughs> you know, who knows? Are my co-workers nice? <laughs> One of them just licked my cheek. I'm just glad he didn't lick my eyeball. That would have been really messed up. By the way, you know what I discovered today? No, yesterday. Magic images. Images where if you look at them long enough, a 3D image pops out. And it is really cool. It is really, really cool. I highly advise you look them up. Uh, right. God. How did I smudge my glasses even worse than before? Lord underscore Stop it. What's up, Lord Ryoshi? Good to see you. We used those for fun in first grade? Well, I have a naked woman on my phone and nobody will ever know. <laughs> it just looks like a pretty picture of a duck. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Send an email. The hell are you doing? Sorry, I'm on my laptop. Uh, watching pornography. Have you ever seen two midgets throw up in a girl's vid- uh, never mind. Park? They've paged for you three times already. There's oh, something- These are like, engine. normal. What are you doing in here anyway? I thought you were just a software guy. I won't go this way. Damn. Things are normal. Holy shit. Okay. Enough information to trust Renegade's predictions. He's been right so far. I just want to know we're inventing something other than shiny new cancer. Shiny cancer! You're Whalen Park, aren't you? Or weren't you actually in the page? I'll tell you. This is the most overworked security guard I've ever seen. No security guard should have to deal with that shit. Oh my god. I close that behind me. Because I'm a nice, polite young man. <sighs> so, chat, tell me how your day was while we do this. Right, Waylon, hurry up. They're waiting on you. Also, how's the volume? 
Let me know if the volume is. Hopefully it's loud now. I'm gonna turn it up. Let me know if it's too loud now. Hello. They've got Gluskin out of his cell. Page him again. We need this park guy in here now. I'm right here. Got 15 seconds to keep it. Park. Finally. Where have you been? Functional imaging in faces and talking to the ASL. We got a patient 30 seconds out and we're blind inside his head. The chamber, ask them to delay. Thank you, Ava. Very much. Another performance evaluation. Mr. Park here is going to have us up and running before we even know it. Right, Mr. Park? Sure. That's what I do. Let me turn it off and on again. Are we happy, Mr. Park? No, I'm very uh, unhappy. Steve, fMRI is still dark. You're doubting our friend, Mr. Wayland Park? Which I consider more than unkind to his programming skill and considerable dedication to the Burkhoff Corporation. <laughs> Fuck me, they're bringing him in. Oh, that's a big guy. Hey, Nicto. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hey, calm yourself. This is a high security. It's all right, Agent. Mr. Park was just surprised. I'm sure he's still calm and eager to finish his work. That scientist has a gun. Quickly, the neighbor, save your money. Please. Fusion monitoring is not active when we put him in the engine. Five seconds. Four. Three. Here we go. That is disturbing, dude. Oh, God. Oh, oh! You're finished, Mr. Wayland Park. You can leave. Don't expect anything but honesty in my review of your performance. I literally fixed this place in 15 seconds. <laughs> Why do they even hire me? Oh, yeah? What are you going to do? You're very tall. Very handsome. Do you always stare over the top of people's heads? Is this just something you like to do? Is it like a power move? Yeah? You won't look me in the eye. You won't look me in the eye. Look at those big, beautiful, kissy lips. All right, let's go. Hey, you'll look me in the eye, won't you? Yeah. You see, you're a more, no, you're not. You're looking over my, you're literally looking over my right shoulder. Let's go. It's nice that everything's friendly. You know? Somebody's taking a train to Happy Time Junction. Somebody is so fine. He's. Oh, why is the door open? Oh, shit. Oh. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Somebody's been telling stories. Oh, no! Oh! Down! Hands where I can see him! Ow! J Jesus Christ! Consulting contract 8208. Software engineer with a level 3 security clearance. Graduated cum laude from Berkeley, but still somehow not smart enough to realize that the last thing a fly ought to do in a spider's web is wiggle. That was a Mac. Dumb enough to think that a borrowed laptop, oh, never mind. onion router, and firewall patch would be enough to fool the world's leading supplier of biometric security. Stupid, Mr. Park. More than stupid, in fact. That was crazy. Hey, that guy has a gun. I'm afraid we're going to have to have you committed. Mr. Park, will you willingly submit to forced confinement? No. Did you hear that, Agent? I said, said no. Yes, Mr. Park. Right. Oh, and uh, hey, did I just hear Mr. Wayland Park volunteer for the more <laughs> program? <laughs> I heard Mr. Blair. He's was brave indeed, Wayland. The Murkoff Corporation and the Onward March of Science both appreciate your bravery and sacrifice. Maybe you could administer Mr. Park here a light and Don't step. punch me. Gladly. Don't punch me! <laughs> oh, that's the worst part of this day! Oh, God! It just gets worse! <laughs> Yes, I did, Ava. With electromagnets and um, neodymium, you can make little floating trains. 
Oh, how you doing, Lord Master Jeff? Good to see you. I'm alive. Hey, Toggy, good to see you. Oh, shit. Okay, so the, these images are just burned into my brain now. I'm one of the- oh, I'm one of the prisoners now! Maybe they'll be friendly for me. Oh, God! Billy? <laughs> Billy? Billy, no! Oh, for the love of God, Billy. Oh, can I use that? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh oh. We cool, Billy? We, uh... We cool? How do I get out of here? All flower. Pretty flower. Fucking... I'll open you up. I'll set you up and show you. Thank you, sir. You ain't right there. No. Wait, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Uh, you can you can part part yourself tonight, buddy. You. You. You're in the way. No, sir. Come in. All right. Oh. <laughs> that guy in the kids. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I feel like the volume's a little loud. Is the volume a little loud? I'll turn it down to Timmy's hand a bit. Hey guys. Our peeping Tom. Come to join our therapy session. I'm just an observer. Here, take the blade. Get around in our friend here. Get a little red on your hands. What? It's always healthy to express yourself. You keep it bottled up too long and you might do something you regret. No. No, I want to do it. You're one of those. No, let me do it. Too good for the likes of us. I want to cut them. Think you're different? No. Something special? No, no. There are no observers here. Now, get the fuck out of here before I change my mind. Okay. Nice cheeks, bro. Jesus, they really turned up the jump scares for this DLC, huh? Come back here! <laughs> God damn it! Uh, 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 um, 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 oh. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Bad idea. We get out of here through a section and then Merc Tactical clean it up. If they get here in time, we need help now. If we get them on the radio, the National Guard could be here with it. We don't even know the radio works. It's shortwave. If the prison's got electricity, they've got signal, and the lights are on. Murkoff has none in control. Yeah, I noticed. We need to get to that radio. Outside hmm. help doesn't come without outside attention. You want responsibility for every thief. If I die... I had fluffed up! Oh god, where am I? Hours could have passed. Or weeks! Brain filled with static. They made me watch the... The engine. Have to get help. Have to call for help. Lisa, I'm sorry. If I die, I know you'll find me. I know you won't rest until you find my body. I hope you find this camera with my corpse. I hope the evidence on it does what I couldn't, exposes the truth. Lisa, baby, I'm so sorry. I fluffed up. I thought I was doing the right thing, but I fluffed up. Bad. 
<sighs> There's a radio in the prison. Shortwave. If it's electronic, I can make it talk. Make it work for me. There's hope, Lisa. I'm coming home to you. Oh, God. Is Lisa fake? <laughs> is this like a thing in his head? Just the way like he's talking about her kind of throws me off. My mistake was subtlety, like you always said. I thought leaking information to a few journalists was a safer way. I didn't want the spotlight, the attention. Murkoff is dangerous, I know that. I thought I had to be so subtle for your sake, Lisa. For the boys. Never mind, there's children. But I should have exposed what Murkoff is doing to the world. I should have shouted to anyone and everyone. I can't die. Not before I reach the radio. They can't cover this up now. It's too broken. It's very dangerous. Yeah. Lisa is real? Don't spoil stuff, but thank you. I like theorizing about weird stuff because nine times out of ten it comes true and then I can pretend I'm a genius. Hmm. It's very honest of him. Buddy, be nice. Stood up. Now he's walking. Hey. Yeah, I'll just leave you in there. There you go. Da, da, da. I think I missed that because I didn't have a night vision on. I think I was meant to be a spook, but the only spook was the friend I made along the way, which is locked in that cell. Still. <laughs> Hey, you need a hand in there? Okay, never mind. Dude, 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 that's a fat camera. Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Please, I'm a doctor. I need to get hold of my. You're not security. I was. I'm a patient like you. Stole these clothes from a dead body, I said. You gotta get me out of here. Please, just push the button. Open the door. We can get out of here together. You're too normal. Stop that! No! Stop! 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 That is pathetically weak. Just dink, dink, dink. I've never seen a man die before today. Never seen a dead body outside of a coffin. Dozens today, murdered and worse. I looked into one man's eyes as another tore him to pieces. Claimed he was a doctor and then saw the rags they've dressed me in and changed his story. Said he was a patient. Could have been either. They're all crazy. All sick. No real difference between them there. The therapy is spreading. And what am I? I watched this man die and only thought, It's not me. Thank God. Not safe for life. <laughs> Real control. I know I'll die someday. I don't want to be murdered. It's very unsafe for life. Because we almost die. Multiple times. Oh, Jesus Christ. Billy! Billy! Billy Butcher! For the love of God, Billy! You son of a... You mother fluffer. I'll remember you. Hey, Vorkid, thank you for the gift sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. That man betrayed me. I will never forget him. What was his name? <coughs> oh, sorry. I had to cough. Ms. Grant, you may receive requests for information from a Mrs. Lisa Park. She's real! Hospitalization of her husband, Waylon. If so, please forward them to my personal attention. Waylon Park, former consultant in contract 8208, resigned due to previously undiagnosed mental illnesses. So I had to cough again. I personally visited Mrs. Lisa Park and her sons and broke news to them, with the silver lining that Markov Psychiatric would be graciously <laughs> providing treatment. Mrs. Park had some less than charitable things to say about myself and the Murkoff Corporation. I assured her that with her power of attorney, she could try and fight the doctor's diagnosis of her husband's illness. 
However, if it were discovered that he resigned under false pretenses, his insurance would be cancelled and the family would be saddled with the not insignificant healthcare debts. Hopefully she understood, but if she insists on making a nuisance of herself or tries to get around me, please let me know. This is one I want to take care of. Personally. Alright. Jeremy. Jeremy. That's a name I can remember. Oh, crap! Chris will be alive again, won't he? Later, piggy. It's an early version of the Doctor. The name was Billy. The the ghost guy. His name is Billy. William. I want to say Baker, but I don't think it's Baker. Well, bloody hell. Hey, you good, buddy? Hey. What's up? Oh, my God. That was my face. He microwaved the man's head. Don't you look at us. I love him. Don't ask to see my body, Lisa. When I die, when you finish the losses, Lee, you probably finish from Marcos. Our wires cover him and don't make them show you my body. Just bury it. I bury it. Let my son to every hole. Jesus Christ. That man is eating human flesh. He looks at me and I see anger. A little desire, but more than anything, hunger. Please don't make them show me my body. Oh my God. Oh. All right. Uh oh Spooky. Spooky. Oh, more than spooky. Dangerous. I can feel my, my I can I can hear my wet feet slapping on the floor. Slap, 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 slap. Can you guys hear it? Slap, 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 slap. You climb up. I'm coming, Cooper. I just have to lock them. There. I'm coming. Hold on. Mm. Oh, God damn it. We need to find handcuff keys. <gasps> ah, shit. Ah, shit. Nah. And we're in the house of God, sir! And you demand human flesh! The forbidden fruit! Don't you know you can't just do that? I mean, come on! There's something called tact, friend! Uh -oh. <laughs> Bum cheeks. I'm pretty sure he's a one hit wonder, by the way. Like, if he hits me, I die. Because he has a freaking saw. Oh, God. I'm almost out, Barry. Where the hell do you get Barry's in this place? Oh my god. I'm gonna run out of battery. I'm gonna run out of battery. There's no batteries! What? I'm not allowed to take batteries, so Miles Upshore has more. This is Bill Honky! <gasps> yeah, that's not good. Oh, 
I only come for myself. Thank you very much. We have come. <laughs> Transformers. Reference. No berries. Don't do I'm like, I'm about to run out. Sorry for flashing, but it's the only way I can see. That'd be a weird disease. <laughs> Sorry, there's an eye on the head of my penis. It's the only way I can see. You don't mind, do you? Ha ha ha. There has to be batteries here somewhere, bro. Ugh. One of the. See no evil, hear no evil. Say no evil? Oh god, no. <laughs> the last person who said silky near me was, uh. not friendly. Although, to be fair, that was in another life. In another life! Oh! Oh, finally! Thank you! Criminy Christmas! It's been 10 years. You wanted to hear the secret? He was talking about how my bumhole was silky. That's not even a joke. That's exactly what he was talking about. Ethan, Ethan Shrikangaraha. This is a request for specific legal consultation in the ongoing lawsuit by Melissa Show against Murkoff Charitable Psychiatric Inc. At the time of Miss Cho's termination, the psychosomatic effects of morphogenic engine on female employees and patients have been well established. Already more than seven female employees and patients have reached fictitious half-term fictitious half-term pregnancy before miscarrying the non-existent children, five of them fatally. Holy f Critical secrecy of Project Wall Rider and instead said is secrecy and the motivating factor for the reassignment's termination is resulting in perceived injustice for several terminated barriers. <sighs> Mr. Shows succeeded in requiring a court order FOIA release of the documents surrounding our terminations. Those documents need to be generated and post dated, providing ameliorating information while skirting the relevant secrecy of the project. Please advise. All right. Anyone want to get pregnant? <laughs> I got the place for you to work. It's going to be a not real baby, though. I think this way. What? Well, how do I get? Um. Nope, I'm a big dumb idiot. I went the wrong way. Fictitious pregnancy is wild. It's a real phenomenon, at least in dogs. I don't know if it's a real phenomenon in humans, but dogs can get pregnant. Oh shit! Dogs can like get fake pregnant. Also in humans? Okay. I didn't know if it would also happen in humans. It's kind of wild, isn't it? You want a baby so much, you make one up. Ever heard of phantom pregnancies? That's exactly what I was talking about, but I only thought it happened in bitches. That was not a sexist term. I was talking about female dogs. For any of you bitches, get upset. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't resist. I sat on that one for a solid five seconds, weighing the pros and cons of whether or not I should say it. I just said, fuck it. It's funny. I never, I never knew it happened with humans. I only heard about it happening with a dog once. Why am I doing this? Something to hide under, maybe? No. Ah, go! Oh, it's him! Oh, no, 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 no! Ah! Billy, 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 Billy! Now would be a really good time to show up! What? You stay there. Okay, yeah, I'll stay here. No, 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 no! <laughs> Oh, that's less ideal. Uh, 
I think we lost two viewers because of that joke. I'm sorry. I, I don't I don't want to offend anyone. I just thought it was really funny. Uh, obviously not as funny to some people. Ow! I need to stop walking into the steam. You have a nice trip? Huh. Dude really fell for me, huh? <laughs> Ava, thank you very much for the- Ava, Jesus Christ. Thank you very much for the one, two, three, four, five gift subs today. Very generous of you. Thank you so much. Someone called the elevator for him. I remember that from the first, uh, from the, from the game, from the main game. Called the elevator and the dude's just like, ah! <sighs> yeah, to be fair, if you can't handle... Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Okay. If you can't handle a small joke like that, you probably shouldn't be watching a game where people are getting violently struggle-snuggled for their anal virginity. That seems like a bad use of your time. Um... But hey, you do you, and I hope you guys enjoy it regardless. That would have been a longer fall. Um, I guess I'm gonna go this way. Ah! That was well worth it. That description always gets me. It's just a politer way of saying it, right? It's also disgusting and kind of dehumanizes the act. So I wouldn't use it in like an official context. Oh god, this guy really wants to jump my bones. I think I'm being chased. I am being chased. Oh god! Oh, he's clever! Oh no! Oh god damn it! No, oh, no, oh, no. Hey buddy, can we talk about this? Oh no. Um, yeah, it, like if someone ever went to court and said, oh, it was just a struggle snuggle, sir. I would expect that man to be slapped mine. right in the mouth. You were mine. Ow, I think I just died again. I'm not entirely sure where I'm meant to be going. Oh god, okay, he just spots you. There's like no chill on this train. Ha! Suck it! You'll never find me here. That door get locked, why it takes so long to follow you? For some reason, instead of just opening doors, they bash them in with their faces. Now I need to run past them. Uh, okay, take the hit. Oh, for God's sake, Andrew. Ah! I'm sorry! Please! Oh, you have beautiful eyes!
<laughs> give me, give me pass. Let me pass. Let me pass. Oh God damn it! You should see my door budget. I'm thinking I need to go past him, right? This is a terrible auto save location. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's death, right? Oh no, I'm alive. <laughs> uh, look. Okay. Answer. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Okay. Have fun. Lisa, or whoever finds this, know that Murkoff is making monsters. I'd never seen the patients after they've gone through that German so-called therapy. The engine. So much worse than I could have imagined. They may still be human, but something's been ripped out of them. And too many other things pushed back in. They were not all murderers. They were sick, but they weren't killers. Murkov made the monsters. Dr. Grisette said the engine had varying effects. The varying outcomes too erratic for any sort of prediction. I took it as idle cafeteria small talk. Rose endless chatter. I should have listened. No. I was really hoping there would be a toilet. Better. <clears throat> I should have listened. I want to. I want to have a, um, a not a metal front door, but like a reinforced front door. So when I move, that's going to be one of my big purchases for like security. And I also want to replace all the ground floor glass with acrylic. They do make you feel safer, yeah. Um. Hey, you good? Oh, sorry, I interrupted your uh, your music making time. My bad. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> that's terrible, but that's really funny. <clears throat> yeah, it seems like we've lost our empathy. We didn't actually go into the engine though. We, we only got the, the treatments. Going into the engine is different. That's what morphologically changes you. Morphologically? Is that the word? I don't know. It's a big word and it sounds good. Um, oh, it's one of the emergency beds. I hope the police did something about that, Ava. Uh, but yeah, no. Um... We haven't actually gone into the engine yet. We've only had the, the base treatments for psychosomatic. Really? Really? My God, man. Get a girlfriend. Well, I guess that's what you're trying to do. Ha ha. Ha ha. Sneaky. Somebody's taking a train to Sneaky Time Junction. <gasps> oh. Huh. I didn't expect him to give up. I wanted you to fight for me. <laughs> That's something women say sometimes, right? I want to break up. Okay. Oh, why did he fight for me? <laughs> I hate that. Dude. dude, I'd hate that. I would hate that. I would... <laughs> That's some two-faced stuff. Hello? 
Mr. Chainsaw Man? I don't think he's home. We're not going to talk about that one. <laughs> the shiny golden god, Frank Antonio Minera. Minimal morphogenic, minimal morphogenic engine activity, and only at extreme stages five and six levels of hormone therapy. Dream states return repeatedly to images of isolation and betrayal. Zero lucid state. Heavy bronchi, heavy. Jesus, what is my English today? Heavy bronchial accumulation consistent with patients with history of tobacco and marijuana. Exceptionally low REM activity. At the time of this interview, Frank was down to 155 pounds from his admission weight of 228. He was lethargic and largely non-responsive, exhibiting interest only in the hypnotherapy script pattern 9. We're in a key. And concerning drinking blood from the chest of sleeping men? He continues to refuse baths so the attention of Barbara outside General Caesar, stating, If I cannot partake, I cannot share. Recommend forced nutrition for Mr. Monero if we cannot find something he likes to eat. Sleep. Okay. I think that's the chainsaw man, right? Oh, you creepy mother. No, oh, find the gas. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna. Where's the button for the... Hey, you know where the button for the gas is? Oh. Ah, here we go. Rude. <coughs> ba -da -ba -ba. Yeah, I, pre I, I, I know it's a tr troubling thing for you, Eva, but um, maybe keep that stuff for the... The Discord because it, it can disrupt chat a little bit. Sorry. Uh, Annie Blackcoat, this is the DLC. We're doing the DLC right now. What does that say? Gas room. Oh, for the love of. I do apologize. It's fine. It's a, it's a okay. Just letting you know. You know, I appreciate having you here. Okay, we made it past him. We all do, I see. Well, I don't appreciate having you here, Mr. Meatball. But everyone else, yes, absolutely. You're all, you're all legends. Thank you for showing up. Did I take the wrong turn? Did I just do a circle? No. Maybe? I did. I think. Where the hell's the gas room? Oh, shag. Oh, bloody hell. Could I have picked the worst way to go? No 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 Just get out of the way Alright, where the hell am I meant to be going? Because this place is a big old circle. Can I go through here? No. I'm going in a circle again. No, you don't. How's tricks I see? I'm not a prostitute. Been on Helldivers recently? 
Uh, I, I didn't know they'd, they'd swapped over today. Uh, I was on our alert today to do the two, do, 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 Jesus Christ, do the two Bile Titan personal order. Uh, but I'm sure Brett will play it tomorrow. So I'll be on then. Thank you for the gift sub, Ava. Ava, you don't need to gift, you don't feel bad. I'm not telling you off or anything, I'm just, you know. I really appreciate having you here. You don't need to gift subs. Oh, for f Oh, I hate this guy! Where's the gas switch? Give me that. Hey. Oh, uh, can I close that? Ow, oh, no, can't close it. I'm gifted for the pink I go on not penance. Okay. That's fine. How do I get It says the gas room is this way, but it's locked. Oh, I'm a big dumb idiot! Oh! Oh my god! How much battery life did I waste? <laughs> That's so stupid. That is so stupid. Prost it, huh? Uh, running tricks is a street word for being a prostitute. All about dogs. I believe it's running tricks, right? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Ava, for the support. It's been incredibly generous. I swear to God. What? I just turned it off! <laughs> No, you can't. Oh, yes, you can. So long, sucker. <laughs> Is Johnny gifts a sneaky tea flick? Thank Christ, you're finally here. Because I was trying to do this earlier and I couldn't. Um. There we go. Okay. Good to see you, Sneaky. Thank you so much again for yesterday. I figured I should stop moderating everyone who donates lots of money because that's like a good way to go down a bad path. So I'll just start VIPing everyone who gives lots of money. Uh, so you have something to stand out, you know. So people who are very helpful and people who are insanely generous, which is another way of being very helpful. Thank you very much. So you get a big pink- Oh, it's this guy! Hey! His hands turned black. Oh no, he's wearing gloves. <laughs> Can I buy VIP? It's only people who, like, do more than, uh, I don't know, 500? I don't know, like, people who have been obscenely generous. Ava's been obscenely generous over her time here. Uh, Sneaky Tiefling was obscenely generous. Um, and I have lots of VIPs available, so. Uh, <clears throat> I would give it to the mods, but all the mods are like, you can't give VIPs to mods because mods are not important. Especially Scully. Scully's the least important mod, but don't tell him I said that. He's not here right now, so he won't be able to, he can't hear me. I have the distinct feeling Mr. Chainsaw Man is somehow going to teleport in front of me. And I'm going to be very upset because that is clearly cheating. Mods work to earn the right to work. Feels rather shit I can't donate yet. Dude, nobody's expected to donate here. Donating is going, like, watching me is amazing. Donating is going above and beyond to a, to a degree that nobody is expected or ever required to do, right? I'm not that Twitch girl who would sit with her legs spread, screaming about how it's only $5. That's not me. 
going out of your way to donate is to go out of your way to support to a level that's just not ever expected, right? And you should feel that way for every Twitch streamer you watch. You should never, ever feel pressured to give people money unless you're buying food, in which case that just makes sense. I'm trying to remember which way I'm meant to go from here. I'm thoroughly lost. It's black pepper cross your chest? Is that new? What? Ava, thank you for the gift sub. Also, awful toast. Welcome. Your first time chatting here is admitting that managed democracy is the way. Mods are to work. Everyone else is to have fun. It was rather recent, yeah. What is going on with the world? Um... I feel like I'm in the completely wrong section of this area because it's deathly quiet here. A vision that comes true. Obey the light switch to. Do I like hot sauce? Not really. Um, I'm a big fan of a little bit of hot sauce and a lot of sauce. Like, uh, when I make my sauce for my udon with the sugar and the white wine vinegar, um, I love just a little, little bit of Tabasco in there, a little bit of chili flakes as well, just a little something something, right? But I can't handle hot sauce because my bum hole is raw. My, my, my organs don't handle anything that's weird. I spent all day today gassing myself as I napped because I ate a McDonald's yesterday, right? It's not good for me. Um, <laughs> so I need to be very careful about what I eat. What music do you listen to? Anything, really. Anything that's like... Oh, for God's sake. No, no, you were mine. Oh. Anything, like, that I think sounds good at the time. Like, I, I don't like a lot of musicians, but I'll listen to one or two uh, pieces of their music. Like, um... I think Machine Gun Ge Kelly is a bit of a twerp, right? And it's like, all right, whatever, you know, you live your life. But I really like his candy song. I don't know why. There's just something so catchy about it. And he looks like a twerp in that video. <laughs> his short ass hair. Uh, but that's the only uh, music from him I'll listen to. I listen to a lot of Miracle Sound because I like The Rock. I listen to um, Man the Cannons from Jonathan Young because I really like the... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <clears throat> I love all the Alan Wake songs. Those are just phenomenal. Um, but yeah, I don't like have a specific genre or artist that I enjoy more than anything else. It's more a case of I just really enjoy what music I enjoy at the moment and I, I can't really put a label on it. What's your favorite food? Ooh. Okay, it's very specific, but <clears throat> a very thick meat stew with uh, lean parents and white wine enhanced gravy with red onions with the meat, the carrots and the potatoes mixed in and slow cooked for three to five hours. I'm, I'm slavering, just thinking about this. Uh, with with uh, mixed herbs, thyme, and sage to add a little bit of back flavor, and some tomato puree or tin tomatoes to add that depth of the flavor to the stew. And uh, not much, not much. It just has to be enough to just add a little bit of extra <laughs> to it. Uh, and then served alongside freshly baked slices of... <laughs> slices of bread. What the hell just happened? Old gods of Asgard, yeah. What just happened to me? I didn't see that. Um, but I, I would have to say that would be one of my favorite meals. Um, my mother, bless her heart, she tried her hardest uh, at a lot of things, but unfortunately due to disability and mental health and such, uh, didn't always work out. But she was a phenomenal cook. One of the best cooks I have ever met. And her lasagna and her stews would knock me on my ass every time. So good. Um, 
Okay. I love I love lasagna, but I think I think the stew just beats out for me with the freshly baked bread on the side, where the the bread is still warm enough that the butter just melts into it, and it's salted butter as well, just on it. Oh God, it's so good. I could make that quite easily. Uh, I have the know-how. I have the I have the talent. I just don't because it takes a long time. Um, the prep alone takes a good. The prep alone takes a good, like, half an hour uh, of just chopping and then slow cooking for hours. And the baking of the bread's probably the most tedious part of it, to be honest. I haven't baked bread in probably a decade at this point. I should do that again. Baking bread is, like, a very fulfilling thing you can do. What am I doing here? <laughs> Once again, I am left confuzzled. There's no convenient button, there's no... There's a chair. Making me crave macaroni and tuna fish. I really like tuna pasta. I didn't think I'd like it. I didn't think I'd like it. Now I love it. Have I gone the wrong way somehow? I'm very confused. I, anybody know what I've done wrong here? You despise fish? Make sure to take your Mega 3 oils where it leaves the taste of fish in your mouth for like three hours afterwards and then every time you burp it's just fish! Fish! <laughs> Great. I take them every now and then if I haven't had fish for a long time. No clue what's the objective? Use the shortwave radio in the prison. This is the prison. I can't get in. It's locked. I assume I have to get up there somehow, but... Um... Oh! He's playing basketball! With the head! Alright! He's playing alone and losing. That's what this game is. There is a mathematical proof that you add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 and so on up to infinity. You can arrive at an answer. If you stop shy of infinity, you have an indescribably large number. <clears throat> if you continue all the way to infinity, you arrive at 1 slash 12. Negative 0 0.083333 repeating. I'm losing my grip on things. I'm thinking about the drive here. 400 miles in a rented truck. The job that shows up just in time to cover our bills or debts or insurance. The boys sleeping in the back. Nothing but AM radio, gospel, country, western, late night, paranoia, talk radio. We sang Patsy Klein songs, left composed of alien ghost, mile marker, numbers passing the headlight. I don't want to die here. Huh. Poor guy. Um... Be this way? Hmm. Eh. No. Well, now I, f now I feel like I'm going backwards. <laughs> God damn, am I going backwards now? Shut up, phone! Actually, that might be important. Hang on. It's not important. Shut up, phone! I feel like I'm going crazy wandering around this place. Uh... I don't remember this place. I feel like I've gone backwards, though. Oh, I have gone backwards. I remember that. Okay. Okay, I've gone backwards. Since when were we known for eating fish anyway? What, humans? Humans have survived on fish for... Probably millions of years. Even our ancestors would have probably eaten fish. Back when fish was clean, copious, and not full of microplastics. It would have been a really, uh... 
Oh, you're talking about smug. Oh. Is it the Finnish that have the weird fish meal where you bury it for six months and then dig it up and eat it because it's rotten and it becomes a delicacy? Or who's is that Norwegians? I know it's one of you weird Scandinavian countries. <laughs> I've not heard of that. This is a fish meal. It's like rotten fish. Weird. That's what you take offense to? The w I can't see a bloody thing, dude. I don't know what I'm meant to be scared of. Oh, it probably helped if I had the camera down. Have I found the way? Praise the Lord! Hang on. Um. No. Sum sur, sur stroming is a traditional dish from northern Sweden that arose during when they had a salt shortage. Uh, fermented herring. Just enough salt is used to prevent the raw herring from rotting while allowing it to ferment. They bury it, it rots, and then they eat it. It's, oh, I thought Luke was playing something. It's in Iceland like a... Oops. Isn't Iceland like a geothermic... Geothermic... Geothermal hotspot. Geothermic hotspot? I think both work. So they can bake stuff by burying it. I would like to kill him. Oh, it's them! Hey guys! How you doing? Been a minute since I last saw the twins, dude. It brings a smile to my face. They were patently useless in the main game. I don't think they even threatened me once. I just sneak past them every time. Chris was the problem. And in this game, Mr. wants to slam my meat with his uh, giant chainsaw thing. Yep, still has penises. Okay. I think that guy's pretty harmless. Oh. You want your head back? Hey. Please leave me alone. You are hideous, by the way. Holy Jesus. I don't think I've ever seen a man more ugly in my life. All right, let me through. Don't be an asshole. <sighs> the Willy Twins, yeah. Hey, Lewis, good to see you. But yeah, I feel like giving VIP to people once they've, like, become a ridiculously generous person both, like, gives a goal for someone to reach and, an, uh, an, uh, like, an indicator of, hey, you've done enough. You don't need to do more. Not Hunter, thank you very much for the tier one. That was very kind of you. 34 months. Okay, we got another one. And I'm not sure you're gonna be able to check it off with psychopathic proximity disorder. Security guard all the way up in admin block is our latest non-patient employee to start seeing Wernicke's fairy tales. He was never directly exposed to the engine, never even made it below level one in the building. It'd be an enormous breach of protocol and security if doctors were speaking of a wall rider within the hearing of a contracted security guard. And seems vanishingly improbable that he would stumble onto such an obscure mythological story on his own. It's too similar to the Dr. Samul case, or others before him. It's one thing for formal, formally sane medical personnel to fall under delusions of their patients, another thing entirely for those beliefs to be, I don't know, airborne. We need to talk in person. Billings. He was probably worried it was going to cost more. I bet that guy was a phenomenal accountant. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. What's your name? Bill. Oh. Bill what? Bill Billings. Do, 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 do. I want to go in here first. Bam. What you got? Absolutely nothing. Ratata. I feel like I want to sneeze. 
tell you it's science but it's not they were hey! waiting for us Ugh. in this place Billy understood they've always been here Hmm. Hmm. Thank you, chap. <laughs> okay. I'm fairly certain one guy said, yeah, and the other guy said, no, <laughs> and then they started running. Oh, what the hell? What is going on in here? Good to see you. Let's try it. I hate this guy. Oh, 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 my nose! Waylon! My murderer! You couldn't just... You couldn't just keep your mouth shut. You couldn't just play along. But you're only talking now. Uh oh. Do me a favor and die here, Park. Oh, I'm gonna kill that guy before the day's over. That's my goal. Please don't be crap. Hi, Chris. You're a dick. <laughs> they just closed the door on me. What an asshole. Okay. Hey, dude. Mm -hmm. Please proceed Our to remain calmly in their room until Another poor soul. Don't be oh, doing his work, Somebody who looks as much like a priest as this place looks like an asylum, writing instructions on the wall, talking about God, tells me not to be afraid. <gasps> How was I ever part of this inhuman bullshit, greed-driven, moral genocide? The monsters Markov ripped from tortured minds. The lengths are jack-booted business schoolworms will go to protect it. Their own men slaughtered. I've never prayed in my life, Lisa, but some small-minded inventors God is listening. Kill Jeremy Baylor before I die. Signing in that verse, no pain he doesn't deserve. There's no radio, no hope reaching outside the world, only skip. Damn. We're going through it. We are really going through it. Rick, fun hitting the greens last week. We should make the drive more often. Was reviewing some old test records from the early days of Project Wall Rider, and something sparked my interest. Were you following the project back in 2010? Apparently, we had issues with female employees experiencing psychosomatic pregnancies, something to do with how the morphogenic engine interacts with the immune system. All Greek to me, am I right? It was more often fatal than not, and these were employees, not patients, so a little hard to sleep under the rug, but... The morphogenic engine activity in these ladies' marrow is off the charts, and these are women who were never even exposed to the additional hormone therapy. Now, I don't know PPM from a kick in the teeth, but I can... PPM? Postpartum mortu? I don't know. But I can read the spreadsheet, and if the projected profits from Project Wilder are half what they say they are, I've just got one question. Why aren't we performing experiments on women? God knows mental illness is an equal opportunity affliction. Seems unethical to pass up on such a potential windfall. Sincerely, Jer. Parts per million? Oh! Could be that. 
Give me that. Boots be mean. Dumb guy. One of them's coming. It's not even human anymore. What? Bye. I'm human. Shut it in. Oh. Oh. I'm human. Right? I actually haven't seen myself. <gasps> I could have been. Oh my god. Oh, what if I'm not human? What if I've been in the morphogenic engine and I just don't remember it? Oh god. How will Lisa ever look me in the eyes again? What if I don't have eyes? Uh -oh. oh god sake, Chris! Get a life! Uh oh, that's no point. What the what just happened? Okay. Saul Goodman. That door almost opened. Not locked. Look how far I can push it. That's bull honky. If you can get that much leverage on a door, you can absolutely yank it open. Splish splash, I was taking a bath. Ba -na -na. Chain shot, maybe? Could be. Could be. Great! Now we have werewolves. I'm not the only one that heard that howl, right? <sighs> Just what we needed. Werewolves. Where there were once whiffs, there are now no whiffs. The werewolves. <laughs> the curse of the werewolf. Wear it whiff or wear it not. Kill us. Burn the building. Worse than death here. Kill us. That's the guy from the first, the, the main game. He was trying to set fire to the kitchen. And then we turned his blinkers on and he hated us. We're not getting out that way, are we? But Jesus Christ. I got jump scared by a plant. Okay, this is where I came from. Maybe it's just a normal wolf, but if it dies, then it was a werewolf. Because it were a wolf. <laughs> no? Okay, shut up. You know what? You're not funny, chat. You're not up here doing the stream. I am. <laughs> Have I just done a circle? No. He's really into that. Really, really into that. Give him some privacy. I see. WTF. Oh, I'm about to bash some mother fluffer's head in. Oh, he's gone. 
The serial master debater is gone. <laughs> Found him! Oh, your hat smells like cheese! <laughs> what did you get stabbed with? I didn't know, I got punched. I don't think he has a stabbing stick. There we go. Oh, this place looks absolutely delightful. Wasn't this where I saw someone running earlier? Hmm. Depends what you'd find is stabbing. I mean, if someone... If someone hits you hard enough, like, with their hand flat, is that stab? I don't think that counts as a stab. A stab has to be with an instrument, surely, right? You can't stab someone with your bare hands. Although I guess you could stab someone with your nails. I don't know. I don't know. If you disembowel someone, have you technically stabbed them? I guess. Slash, slash, I was taking a bath. What the f was that? Would body parts be considered instruments? I mean, if I broke off your thigh bone and beat someone to death with it, that's kind of an instrument, isn't it? I don't like this. Nope, 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 they're making water monsters. That's a hard no for me. <sighs> Why my bones? I mean, just just an example. It's not like I've dreamed of doing it. <laughs> uh, I don't like this place. God, I hate it. I hate it when it's like shit underwater. It's so freaky. Dave, I think. <gasps> All these people falling for me. Ava, thank you very much for the gifts. I very much appreciate it. Thank you. Thalassophobia? I'm not afraid of deep water. I'm afraid of shallow water with something hiding under it. It would be so easy. I don't believe in it anymore. Getting the truth out. There's no truth. Only lies we've accepted too long to double back on. It's our children, Lisa. I would take the easy way out if it wasn't for the boys. Damn this place to hell. I'll suffer anything to get out of it. Man, Lisa Simpson has a hold on this guy like nothing else. Jesus, what is this post-apocalypse industrial bullongi? God damn. Doesn't anyone, like, you never heard of waterproofing in carpets? By the way, better off Ted's, finish season one. Phenomenal. I'm on season two. There are only two seasons, but really, really good show. Better off Ted. T-E-D. Highly recommend it if you're just wanting some, like, silly, office, funny, interesting show. I, I got it on Amazon Prime, but I had to pay for it, so it's not, like, Prime. I just got it on Amazon, Amazon Video. Um, it's slowly getting to the point where I'm considering learning how to privateer because trying to figure out what show is on what bloody subscription service pisses me off to no end um i've always been against privateering right unless it's for the sake of preserving a show or preserving a game that's not going to be available anymore um oh that's not good oh that's really oh my but trying to find where to get a show or a movie now. Well, Lemon Wizard, I don't want to have eight subscriptions to different services so I can watch whatever show is on that service on that day. Like, the, the amount of... When it was just Netflix, it was great. 
Uh oh. But no, I, I, I detest the current system of doing things. I detest it wholeheartedly. I detest the fact that games companies just pull the plug on games and remove them to never be purchased again. I detest that shows pop up on streaming services and then are never available again. I detest the greed of companies right now. And I, for the first time in my life, I am all for privateering. Who's Gluskin? It's historical preservation. Yes, exactly. And companies that try to fight it are disgusting. That's been a, uh, the way for a while, Lady Fluff, but if Steam deleted its servers... We would lose access to every single game we have ever bought on Steam. With no way to get it back. That's why I support GOG. Because GOG is, uh, I believe, DRM free. What the hell is going on here? I don't like it. I love Steam as a company. Steam is amazing. Um, an example of this shit done badly is Sony. Sony deleting games off of people's accounts because of a really dumb line in their EULA making it allowed. People pay $80, $90 for a game and then just have it removed from their account permanently. It's disgusting. Oh. Back inside, like the harder I try to escape, the deeper I get. Dead men aren't survive anymore. Surprise anymore. Suicide seem wise. I don't care if it's older TV shows and movies, John Haas. I don't care. I don't care if it's video games. I don't care. If you do it to anything that anyone has purchased, you are disgusting. You know what else I hate? I hate HP. Imagine having a f subscription service to print a piece of f paper. If they catch us, they'll give us to him. The man downstairs. The bag. Very bad. Very, very bad. God. Oh God. Regardless, I I I detest the current climate that we're in. And I, yeah, no. Microsoft, Sony, Nintendo, Ubisoft, EA, and fuck everyone. I just let the F bomb slip. Who supports their foul, disgusting practices? Buying companies just to remove them from competition. Hiring developers just so other. Oh! Kill the other companies can't get them? No, they're all horrible, disgusting companies that don't deserve their successes. And at some point, I'm pretty sure we're all going to have had enough. So, whoa, we're getting lots of warning about how bad this guy is coming up is, and I'm a little bit concerned. A little, little bit concerned. Dr. Ford, I conducted another interview with your patient Dennis this afternoon and had to agree with your suspicions. In the course of a 40 minute interview, I had wide exposure to all four of Dennis's expressed personalities, as near as I could tell, two brothers, their father, and their grandfather. They seemed primarily concerned with some sort of life threatening flood, though there was a little consistency between this event and having happened, threatening Im imminent arrival. Clarity of his delusions and performative nature of the personality's expression certainly suggests malingering. I admittedly fall into. Furstenberg camp of categorical skepticism of disassociative personality disorder, but Dennis's case seems clearly invented by an attention-seeking patient, more likely symptoms of gross narcissism and obsessive-compulsive disorder. Continuous shock therapy. 
Okay. But yeah, no, I, I... If you're a privateer in this day and age, as long as you're not doing it to companies that deserve your money, then I'm a-okay with it. But, I don't know, it's just, it's... It's so hard to justify spending this money on things. So what the hell diver situation evolved into? What, a developer trolling the community? I th people are blowing that out of proportion as well. Dude just said it was a skill issue. Fucking grow up. <laughs> Fucking grow up. So this is one guy floating between multiple personalities and I'm assuming the two children are friendly. The father catches you and the grandfather does stuff to you. Right? He is the same guy. Hmm. Shit your pants yet, Icy? Not in a very long time. Last time I shit my pants, I think I was sick and I was very young. <laughs> oh, wait, you meant, oh, oh, you meant metaphorically. Oh, sorry. No. There he is. What do you think? I was right. Wait, wait no, no, never mind. I was wrong. It's not the same guy. Why does he have a TF2 laugh? Oh, that's just something when people do the laugh emote. Sorry. But yeah, what boils my blood is the shit, like, what they did to the Halo franchise. What, like, what they've done to existing IPs, like, EA have bought a little bit of good grace from me again because of how they handled Dead Space. I, I, I'm very happy that, I, I wouldn't vote EA as the worst company in the world anymore. Just because of the way they treated Dead Space with respect. They're really talking up this grim guy, and it's worrying me. Yeah, I figured I would have to. Whoops. A man's body mutilated and bent to mimic or mock the moment of birth. The kind of thing a man cannot see without changing in some irreparable way. Lisa, I was with you when both our boys were born. It was, until recently, the most miraculous thing I'd ever seen. Completely outside of reasonable belief and yet somehow central to everything I've come to believe since. Since. They always said I was too literal-minded, tried to turn everything into an if-then statement. Lately, I've widened my horizons. 
How can the things I've seen here be? But I know the answer. Money. Profit. Things we made just because we could. Hmm. It takes... A sick, sick mind to come up with that. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I had to black the screen out briefly there. I just realized the screen's not going to be blacked out in the recording, so YouTube's going to have a field day with this episode. Uh, I'll just mark it as 18 plus. Um, but I had to black out the recording on Twitch there so I could look. There's a man's eyes staring out of where the quote-unquote womb is on the fake woman. Jesus. That is something else. <laughs> well, that killed the conversation for, uh, on how disgusting games companies are. <laughs> fake woman, what do you mean? That was a man, anti black coat, with fake breasts stitched on. God. And fake birth. That scream ripped my throat out. gone quiet. Yeah, either he's far away or he's about to jump out at me. <sighs> Jesus Christmas. Yeah, he's definitely going to jump out at me, dude. There's no way. Oh, God! I want you. No, I don't. Have my faith. I have no ovaries, but I must scream! Oh, that sucks. Oh, oh, oh. There's no hope in the world. Oh, God. Oh! Rather die than be with me. Yes. Then die. Uh, is he about to start the elevator? Oh, he is. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, there we go. A woman's work is never done. Oh, poop. Oh. Oh, I have the running speed of an injured deer. Oh, dear. Hmm. 
There's no place like home. Mm-hmm. Me leg fluffer nuts, guys. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Oh, great. Keep your mama happy, chaps. If mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. I really hope Chris shows up and saves my ass. I want a family, a legacy, to be the father I never had. I'll never let anything happen to our children. Not like... He's gonna chop my willy off and make a hole. Oh! Oh! Darling. This will help you relax. Oh! Oh, never mind. That guy's the wrong way around. Okay. Darling, I need you to try to bleed less. I know the fair sex often endure the same wounds with your suffering, but you really need to make an effort. <gasps> So sorry, darling. Love isn't for everybody. Oh. 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 God. Hold still now, darling. All these unsightly hairs. Oh. Silky smooth, like a little girl again. Now the worn, delicate bits. No, no, don't, please! Oh God, you've given up. You're ugly. You've given up. You're not even worth stringing up. Oh God, please. Jesus Christ. This is one sick, sick, sick man. Oh no. <gasps> you have amazing bone structure. Such soft skin. Oh no, 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 no. You're no, going no, to no, be no, beautiful. No, 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 no. A woman has to suffer some things. It's not pleasant, I know. But just try to 
endure for my sake, for the sake of our children. It won't take long. A few snips of the flesh here and here. Cut away everything vulgar. A soft place to welcome Touch my me. To grow our family. The incision will hurt. Oh. And the conception. And birthing is never easy. Oh. You have to cut fast. Just close your eyes. God, I can't look away. I can't look away. It won't let me. Oh! Thank you! 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 Oh my God! You can take my little virginity if you want. Get back here! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Still intact. I'm here, Lisa. I'm still me. He tried to make me his bride to cut me. Maybe I was wrong. Telling the world would only draw it here. Should this place just die and faster here? I won't tell the world it means spreading infection. Let it die and let it rot. Get the fluff out. Jesus Christ, I feel sick. Like my stomach actually twisted there. Oh, God. stepped on me of course he did of course he did I'm not gonna have nightmares of this mission. I don't have nightmares about stuff like this, but it has hit me in a way I didn't expect, so. Could you imagine just how sick you would have to, like, what does this morphogenic engine? God, I'm, I'm like, okay, I'm in two minds about this. One, I'm severely disturbed and horrifically sick feeling. But on the other hand, I'm kind of glad they explored just the depths that the morphogenic engine would take a man. God damn. That's some storytelling. Just Jesus. And there are people out there who do this shit in real life. Can you believe that? Can you both, uh, like, oh, no. Uh. <laughs> Just look, some of the things you read or, or, or listen to and, oh, God. Oh, God, this, uh. <laughs> Just watch the channel, Casual Criminalist. And some of the people you learn about are just truly terrible. Eddie Gluskin. <clears throat> Lucid dreaming figures remain murky as ever. Gluskin claims near constant control of his dream state, yet correspondence between his narrative and REM cycles. 
Highly arithmetic REN MRM, morphogenic activity plateaus at 90 p parts per million. Heavy bronchial accumulation, the rashes associated with hormone therapy have receded and vanished since we stopped using latex tubing. Gluskin remains a frustrating interview subject. He's still trying to tell us what he thinks we want to hear while studiously avoiding certain elements of the truth. His childhood remains an obvious fiction. He's claiming to have grown up in Leave It to Beaver, despite a traumatically violent ongoing sexual experience that is a matter of public and medical record. When I confronted him with the photographs of his father and uncle, with the photographs his father and uncle took, when I confronted him with the photographs his father and uncle took, what the f He responded with a mixture of laughter and anger and restraints were issued. He similarly refuses to discuss his victims, both categorically and specifically. When I showed him pictures of the woman, he would not admit they were dead or mutilated. He is claiming advancement in the morphogenic engine program that he's not yet achieved. Said he could clearly hear the voice of the wall rider just by closing his eyes. Clearly he's still trying to curry the favor of his doctors. I won't speculate at what he expects to gain by him. When I confronted him with the photographs of his father and uncle too. Jesus. Man. God damn. Therapy sucks. I mean, this is an ending right here, isn't it? Imagine confronting a mentally ill person with the pictures of your trauma that your violators took. Oh, that's just, that's, <laughs> Jesus, man. Jesus Christ. This is some heavy stuff. You don't fucking do that. I mean, obviously you don't do that. I know this is a video game, but Jesus Christ. <sighs> God. Battery. What the f How many victims did the groom have? Bodies hanging like wet laundry, like skinned rabbits. Men mutilated, hunted, and murdered. The shortest distance between any two points separates violence and ruined lust. Whatever stories he's telling himself, he's not making women to bury his children. He's making women to kill them. Lisa, I want you to burn this place and any evidence that ever existed to the ground. Destroy the Markov Corporation. Bury it in shame, take away his money, wipe it from history. This man thinks he's in love. He thinks the therapy made him better. Everything reeks of death and fear. Piss and coppery blood. Meat decomposing to game. Unfortunately, this means he has access to this place. Which means we're not free from him yet. And the amount of time between Billy ascending, ascending and Waylon being out, Eddie killed 282 staff in revenge for what they did to him. Your eyes down like a good little boy. Don't look, don't listen.
Really? My screen's black, man. It just broke my game. Are you f kidding me? Are you are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Speaking of cancerous companies, are you kidding me? Right at the height of the tension. Are you kidding me? I'm mad. I, I'm furious. If I didn't enjoy playing StarCraft so much right now, which by the way, my latest obsession is StarCraft. I'd never played StarCraft before. It's really fun. Um, if my latest obsession was a StarCraft, I'd uninstall Battle.net. LOL, shut the fuck up, you're so annoying. Well, you're a cancerous ass on the community. And I really hope you don't spread your seed because if you do, oh my God, imagine more of you around. Could you imagine the horror of having more Kata 101s around? Could you imagine? I mean, it's all right because he's so loathsome. He's never going to be able to get a girlfriend. His face is contraceptive enough. <laughs> Starcraft 1 or 2? I play Starcraft 2. Oh, Christ. Was Kyle 101 talking about Battle.net? No. No. No, they weren't. I've been getting a few messages like that from IGP viewers. They keep popping into my videos and, uh... Leaving comments like, Oh my god, I'm so glad you stopped playing with IGP because you're so fucking annoying and obnoxious and you've ruined everything. It's like, okay. So, oh, Jesus. Oh, there's the key. Oh God, oh God. For the love of God, dude, I hate this guy. I think I went the wrong way. Seems really polite, you should ask him for his address. <sighs> okay. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not gonna let it bother me. It's just, there's people like that out there. Um, if it was an accidental ban, and if he was talking about Battle.net, then by absolutely, Kata, submit um, an unban request, and I will apologize to you profusely. Otherwise, uh, I stick by what I said. <laughs> also, we just got stabbed in the penis again. God damn it. Mine's quite pushy, doesn't even take you out to dinner. I think I was the dinner. I think that's the point. Um, to be honest, quickly, Deadlocks, I feel like this is the kind of game I wouldn't enjoy playing on the hardest difficulty, which is why I only play it on hard. It's a very enjoyable game. I am thoroughly enthralled. But I don't think I would be. Oh, God! No, 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 I don't think I would be on the hardest difficulty. Welcome back, John Has. God damn, dude. Where's the door? Where's the door? Where's the door? I think it's over here. There it is. Get me the hell out of here. No, 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 no! One more. I try and I try. You all betrayed me. You 
you can hang. I can run. Oh, God. Uh... Heavier than you look. If this is you on the honeymoon, I hate to imagine. I think the ceiling's about to break. Hold still. God damn it, what are you? God damn it, darling. No, you need to behave. Oh. Was he just taken by Billy? We could have. Oh no. Been beautiful. No, he just got wrapped up in his own cards. Breather. Good news. We don't have a ban, an unban request. So I was absolutely right to rip into that Kata 101 guy. Let's get the hell out of here. Card him for a message? Shit, you're right. God damn it. You're right. <laughs> Can I record him from here? I really don't want to be close. He's dead. The amateur surgeon, father to be husband, has got shredded and pulled from his belly. I'm trying not to laugh. Oh god, Lisa, I swear to you, I'm trying. <sighs> Thank you for calling that out, Darkner. I completely forgot. I am limping my unhappy ass out of here as fast as I possibly can. <sighs> I hate this place. It really is a shame they didn't do something like uh The only problem with shut up and play is you're a streamer, you kind of have to talk while you're playing. Yeah, I mean, absolutely, but every, everyone, every streamer has their own sort of pace and how they play. I'm a scared bitch, and I tend to let out weird yelps when I'm afraid. Um, I, but, Jesus Christ. But there is legit criticism in that, because I tend to talk a lot when I'm nervous, and this game makes... Miles Upshur is here. Wait. Miles is here. Chapel in far in the distance. I didn't know we had a church. Where is God when you need him? Um, so there is like, I, I absolutely am all for valid criticism. But if you don't enjoy my content, just leave. I mean, I, I'm not going to hold it against you. I'm not going to be angry. People have their own... Corporate cops, mercenaries, private military contracts, whatever they call them now, they're as helpless as the rest of us need to get out of escape. Um, but yeah, I, I try and tailor my content to be good for everyone. I'm nowhere near as fake screamy as I was in IGP's videos. Uh, I wasn't fake screamy, but I like played it up a bit. I'm nowhere near that level. When I scream or squeal now, it's 100% involuntary. <laughs> um, and I can't change that. So but I'm glad the people who are here enjoy me for who I am. So thank you. 
Uh, the groundwork has been laid to ensure an uneventful egress for Rudolf Wernicke from structural and financial systems at Mount Massive. His advanced age should alleviate any suspicions among contractors and employees, among whom he's been cheerfully nicknamed the Crypt Keeper, and legally speaking, he died years ago. I understand patients have already been scheduled for transit. We're all terribly excited at the obvious profit potential of the new project. My researchers have combed through Warnicky's files and found no mention of the three lucid dreamers. I think we can safely assume Warnicky was sufficiently distracted by the partial success of patient Billy Hope, along with his own infirmity, to be ignorant of the real discovery at hand? Even minimal exploitation of these resources is hard to overestimate. I only hope the new facility is new facility is sufficiently shielded to allow female staff so i can see what comes with my own eyes there's another there's another facility is that outlast 2 is outlast 2 i thought outlast 2 was set in like a weird cult thing not another facility The second one is complete departure, that's what I thought. Let's just check to see if there's a note here or something. Like DS2 to DS1, complete disconnection. Well, Dark Souls 2 had bases in Dark Souls 1. It's just Dark Souls 2 was a, I believe, a prequel, right? Technically. <clears throat> I don't know. I really like Dark Souls 2. I don't get the Dark Souls 2 hate. Um, yeah. It would be cool, honestly, thinking the other part they mentioned would only end up in the Outlast Trials. Could be, yeah. Actually, that would make a lot of sense. I wonder if anyone's made a lore video on that. We're here. This is where Miles got in from. I remember this place from the base game. broken window would be over there where he threw me down. You're not swearing too much, Dark. Now, try and avoid F-bombs if you can, because I'm trying to avoid F-bombs if I can. Um, but any other swear words, fine. Obviously not see you next Tuesday or anything severely bad, though. Mr. Park. <laughs> How the fuck are you still alive? Oh. Make a deal? Y you help me? I'll help you. God. Uh, me up. Jeremy Blair, my supervisor's supervisor. A man who'd see me skinned, salted, and raped for a promotion and a few martinis. Injured. Dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him. Really, I am. But there's no way he's in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Please. Oh, come on! What is wrong with this guy? He must have been afflicted by the, the morphogenic engine, dude. Miles! We kill Miles? Oh, 
was that Miles' last action before he died? Because Miles got shot. Like, pretty bad. At least we still have all our fingers. We got that going for us. That was an experience, dude. I'm just glad my, my wedding tackle is still intact so I can make more babies with my lovely wife, Lisa, who is absolutely not going to be horrified to see me. Are we going to take Miles's car? We're taking Miles' car? And so it ends how it began, I guess. Uh-oh. I think Miles is coming. We should let him get in, right? No, wait, no. Oh. Miles is still alive somehow. That is not how the car turned around. You press that button. It's not going back, Mr. Park. There's enough hard evidence in that video file to make a world of shit for our friends at Murkoff. You got out of Mount Massive alive, and we've done everything in our power to cover your tracks. But our enemies are twitching and malicious corporate paranoiacs with resources you're too moral to imagine. You won't be the only target. Anyone you care about, your wife, your child, there'll be nothing to murk off but ways to hurt you. I need you to understand the bridge you're crossing here. You will do irrevocable damage to the company. You might even get close to something like justice. But once you click upload, your life is over. Everyone you love is fucked. But it's the right thing to do. Is hurting Murkoff worth that much to you? You mean all the people who died? Yeah. Yeah. Murkoff. Jesus Christ. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was my first time playing, and probably last time playing, Outlast.